Hey guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a review for you of this 8-man M4 wireless mini projector. As you can see here, it came in this small little package. It's a pretty non-discreet package with the M4 model here. And here is uh, some of the features. They show you a front viewing speaker, viewing battery HDMI. Uh, you have up to 100 inches at 2.5 meter and then the resolution is WVGA uh, for output at 80 lumens. So that's 854 by 480p. Um, so let me go ahead and turn in the back here and give you a little bit more detailed information. So here in the back you can see again it's a DLP technology, 80 lumens which is uh, pretty low but uh, I'll show you that here in a few seconds. Uh, menu focus adjustment from 20 to 120 inches, contrast ratio to of 1000 to 1 and you have two aspect ratio of 4 by 3 and 16 by 9. Uh, 25,000 uh, hour of LED battery life and then here the battery is uh, 3000 milliamp up to 90 minutes. Uh, one watt speakers, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi, which is pretty neat, and that's basically about it. So here's so some of the things you get in the package. Here is the 8-man projector itself, it's pretty small. Here is the remote control, and then here is a micro USB cable that's used for charging and also powering it. It also comes with an HDMI cable and also a, a menu, but I don't know where I put those, so I'm just going to show you guys these. So this is the remote, it's pretty simple. You have the power button up here, navigation pad, and the OK button. Back, home, and then menu, and then here you have the up and down for the volume. That's basically the remote control. You have a pretty nice long remote, but uh, everything's up here, so I don't know why they didn't just make half the size. It's not really that ergonomic to have such a long remote, but uh, yeah, that's an option. It uses a corn cell battery that's come included. You just have to pull the tab. So here's a little projector. It's pretty nice and small as you can see. You got your 8-man logo up front. In the back here, you have a micro USB charging port, a USB input, HDMI output. On the side, power button, some ventilation. Up front, speakers, the projector itself. And then on this side here, you have a little small kind of like knob, a rotary knob that you use to adjust the um, focus. So I've been using this unit for about a month now, and I think the biggest problem I have with this unit is that it's missing a mount. Um, so uh, with something this small, normally you will have to, you know, elevate it, you know, point it a different direction. And the biggest thing I think that would be nice to have is either a small a tripod uh, thread here that would be very nice or just even a, you know a clamp someone had to find a clamp to hold this up uh, there's plenty of cell phone clamp that can be used for this but uh, kind of give you an idea this it does not come with any clamp to hold up so I think that would be the biggest improvement maybe a small little clamp to clip it like this and then you can put it on any tripod that would be very nice but if you leave it on a table flat like this then you're not gonna get the angle you want uh, projecting at the wall so it just depends on you you know sometimes I will put some books on top of it sometimes I just kind of put something in front to kind of elevate it kind of give you an idea but yeah it produced a pretty nice big image I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that right now so guys I'm roughly about two feet away from the projector uh, there's a small fan that's running on the inside when you turn it on I'm using it using the battery pack right now and I uh, just kind of give you an idea right now so you can kind of listen in for the sound it's a pretty small sound but it's definitely noticeable so um, because it doesn't have any mount, I just decided to put on this little light here. I'm going to go ahead and show you that right now. So just giving you a quick idea, right above there is a little skylight. And right now it's about 6.30 a.m. And uh, there's a little bit of light coming through. And this is kind of like how much uh, light you can see from the projector. So uh, when you first turn it on, uh, you have the option here uh, of uh, Airplay or do Miracast. So right now it's in Airplay. It tells you right there iOS instruction. And then you can just Airplay something to it. You can also switch to Android and do Miracast. And then there's also a USB option that you can plug in a USB port to watch a movie or something like that and uh, you have the ability right now. So I'm just projecting this small lower wall here. It's uh, the only area of the room that's not occupied and uh, you can see that the screen there is probably around 42 inches or so. Kind of give you an idea and I'm roughly about five feet away from the wall. There at the bottom there it tells you that you can uh, access the website there to uh, you know do some other stuff. So in order to use the Airplay you have to connect to the 8-man router. So the 8-man actually have a built-in uh, router uh, on this. So if I turn it on off here I should be able to see it. You can see here, here's the 8-man router, uh, just connect to that, give it a second, and uh, I think the password is default in the user menu, I don't remember what it is, but anyway, go ahead and connect to that. And when you finish connecting, uh, you can go ahead and swipe up and click Airplay again, and now you shoot the 8-man here, just click connect right now, and then you're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and mirror my screen here real quick, and press done, and uh, kind of give you an idea how quick this is. So there's that screen. You see it's pretty responsive if you're next to it. And typically you're going to be near it anyway. So that's uh, pretty good. But uh, you know for me Airplay is always a little bit tricky even with a good router. So it's not the best implementation. But yeah you have some choice here. Just press play. Give it a second for it to queue up. Yeah. 
you can see there one of my kids rolling around uh, it's getting a little bit dimmer now I think the lights are getting a little bit brighter but anyway uh, this video is a dark video go ahead and get out here uh, but uh, yeah it works pretty well but uh, the speaker now is uh, you know in a small room you can hear but on a bigger room you're not gonna be able to hear that speaker so in a conference room you probably want to output to sound so the unit has HDMI in but you don't have any way to output sound I do wish that it come with a audio output like a 3.5 millimeter jack so that you can output to the bigger speakers but that kind of give you an idea right now uh, I do find that airplay is a little bit slow but uh, I think that's just nature of airplay so I insert a USB stick on this guy with uh, some videos I'm gonna go ahead and browse using the remote control so we're gonna go ahead and go to USB and click OK so it's switching to USB and uh, it gives you this multimedia uh, player and with this player you can uh, you know do pictures you can do mp4 you can do mkv so these are some of the format that you can do you can also do music and text as you can see right here so guys uh, the sun is coming up a little bit more so you can see it's getting a little bit dimmer kind of give you an idea it's about seven o'clock now so yeah uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the uh, USB mode here and then here we can access our USB stick this is the name of USB stick so I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and then here I have two video so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a video here kind of give you an idea this is Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a pretty quick tip for you on how to set up XPMC to have a bigger buffer. So a lot of time when you're trying to stream stuff on the XPMC. So as you can see there, the volume is pretty loud. I'm gonna go ahead and decrease it a little bit down. You also have the option to press the center key here of the navigation to press OK, and then you can bring up this menu so you can do repeat. You can uh, shuffle, and you can also fast forward. On the remote control, you press left and right. That's gonna give you uh, the next video or the previous video. So you want to bring up this menu in order to change. And here are some of the options you can see. Uh, you have playlist. You have uh, you know slow mo. You can also zoom in and out. You can change the aspect ratio. Everything is done in here. Kind of give you an idea. You can also change the uh, audio. Uh, left right channel etc left and right here you can see left right and right left and left kind of give you an idea so if you have a, a multi soundtrack uh, video you can change this here so now I'm down in my basement and as you can see this is the French door and you can see the lighting outside uh, actually you know from the camera it look a little bit dark but uh, from my perspective it actually looks all right so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the video here so the projector is roughly about 15 feet away from the wall now and uh, the image that you see on the wall is over 10 foot uh, wide so it kind of give you an idea it's a pretty wide screen so this is actually a possibility to use this uh, as this big I'm gonna go ahead and press um, play right now can I give you an idea so it's a pretty smooth and fluid I'm watching uh, IP man 3 here can I give you an idea so it seems a little bit dark here as you can see so you definitely want to uh, use a, a really dim room for this um, the projector is not designed to be used in the bright lit environment so definitely uh, you know a more dimmer room will work better just kind of give you an idea of uh, how bright this projector can get at only 80 lumens so I'm in the hallway now just kind of show you an idea this is pretty much pitch dark and the screen is about 10 inches so this is a pretty small screen but as you see as you get closer you get a much brighter screen and as you go further the light are more dispersed so you're not going to get a nice uh, you know bright screen so that kind of give you an idea so overall the 8man m4 micro projector works pretty well you can kind of see the idea of the application with this unit uh, maybe a smaller presentation uh, a small screen on your a little bit darker room or you can even use for a movie theater if you just want to do that uh, my biggest concern about using it as something like a movie theater is that you do not have sound output which could be a problem because the speaker is pretty small in this unit but I think for other the intent purpose it works pretty well and I actually like it a lot the coolest thing about this unit is just uh, how small it is and uh, with the built-in battery you can actually run for 90 minutes that's uh, the little advertisement and in my practice yeah I get about 90 minutes or so of just doing videos and just browsing through it if you're using the Wi-Fi router and doing uh, you know airplay and all that stuff it's not gonna last as long but if you're just playing a video it does a pretty good job of uh, conserving battery though again I think the improvement can be done if you added a little tripod mount either through an adapter or a built-in thread and also have an audio out I think that would be a perfect little projector so uh, guys, that's pretty much conclude my quick review use 8man M4 projector. Please like the video if you think it's helpful, it would really help me and also subscribe for more future review. Thank you and see you in a future video. And in case you were wondering, yes, you can connect this to a micro USB port and have constant power so that way it never goes off. <music>